how are you doing? My name is Melody, for those who don't know me yet, I know I started every video saying the same thing. So today I came with a very special video that is dating in China, how hard is it, how easy is it, how is it to date in China, how is it to date in that side of the world? Because oftentimes when I was to go back home and holidays, some of my friends, family members, they'll be like, how is it in China, how is it in Chinese, man, is it hard, the culture, blah blah. And is there even foreigner people in China? So there are so many questions, so I decided to come here and make a video. Dating in China is a confused subject, not very confused, but let me just say like that. China is not really a country of immigration. Well, they have one billion of people, so they don't really need you to immigrate here. <laughs> they need you to come here to study, to come to work, contribute to your skills for a certain period of time and then go back home, okay? Yeah, it's not really a country that people come to immigrate. They there's some people stay here forever, yes, but that's very rare. Most of people come for one to two, three years, four maximum. That's like the medium amount of time that people come to China. So they come to study, to work, uh, to live adventures, whatever the reason. So people don't come here for a long period of time. And I'm going to go back to that soon. You guys are going to understand why I'm talking about that. So you have Western people in China, you have Chinese, you have other Asians, so you have a whole bunch of people. You don't just have Chinese people. So if you don't like to, uh, to date Chinese people, you want to date someone from your country, your culture, you have that here too. Or from other Western countries, you have that too. And you have the local people that are Chinese people, obviously. I'm going to start with dating Chinese people. I see that it's very easy for you to see a Western guy with a local woman, Chinese woman, but it's very hard for you to see a Western girl with a Chinese man. Perhaps Western girls are not so much into dating outside of their culture, their race, or perhaps also Chinese guys are shy. Not all of them, but many of them are shy, and they're very conservative, and also the language and culture barrier, so those two groups don't, don't meet. But the other groups, yeah, so those two groups don't meet. So that's pretty much what I see here. But you see more and more Chinese guys, Asian guys dating foreigner girls, not as much as the Asian women and Western guys, but you also see now. But I, I think it's a matter of culture, language, and both groups are like, you know, there's a lot of stereotypes when it comes to people from different um, ethnic groups and backgrounds. So many Western women already come to China or to Asia with certain negative stereotype of Asian men or Chinese men. So they're not even attempting to talk to them or giving them a chance. Many Asian men also can be very shy and reserved. You know, they're like in their doing their thing, and they also they sp some of them speak even very good English, but they're very shy. They don't want to speak. So those things can come into play when they meet each other. But I can tell you that Chinese guys are not all shy. No, no, no. <laughs> not shy at all. So you have two types. <laughs> you have the shy, nice, kind, respectful, and you have the very pervert ones. So what I mean with pervert is there is a bunch of Chinese guys that will go after you if you're a Western girl. If, let's say, even in WeChat, in the beginning I used WeChat to practice my language skills. A lot of people around used to add me on WeChat and I used to add everyone like, hello, Pangyo, practice my Chinese, sending voice message. Some of those people became my friends to today, some of those people don't know about them. But a lot of them, I realized that, you know, they'll be like, I like Farina girls, they're very nice and they're very open-minded. And I'll be like, oh cool, I thought they're talking about open-minded, your life, how you see the world, your lifestyle, not what to do under the sheets. So many of them, what they mean with saying foreigners are very open-minded, they mean like uh, foreigner girls are very posmicious, they sleep around, you know, no string attached, they're just like very open sexually and they like that. Yes. So I understood that later on and I was like, those dudes are creeps. So there's a lot of fetishism too. There's a lot of Chinese guys who come to you but it's not really take you serious or to end up staying with you long term, introducing to their families but mostly because of this fetish and they thinking that every foreigner girl is like some mean girls in some American movies. You know what I mean? And you have the nice ones, respectful, who speak good English, but they're very shy, they say they don't speak English, and they don't know how to approach the Western woman, you know, you need to understand Chinese culture is also very reserved, people are more shy, they flirt, but they're not very in-your-face type of flirt, so most of them don't really know how to approach the Western woman, and Western women also don't know how to approach the Chinese guy because of the uh, cultural differences. Then you have Western people here, you have people from your own country, culture, and from 
all over the world so you can also date people from other cultures other, other countries and cultures sorry so you have the western people from other countries cultures and all other parts of the world in china especially in beijing shanghai and big cities so you also have that option to date people from other places but as i said before in the beginning of the video china is not a country that people come to stay forever immigrate like you go to canada to united states uh, friends people go find a job and stay there and after a couple of years become French and stay there living their life that's not what people do in China people come for a period of time studying working and after they go back home so let's say I'm a girl from Angola I'm African and I actually went to China to study and in my third year of uni I met a guy and I have like a year year and a half to finish school and then go back to my country like many students uh, do in China and I meet a guy from Jamaica who is there working for like two years contract and he has like six months left or a year also left and he's going back to Jamaica. People are like, well, why am I going to invest in a relationship? Why am I going to create and grow feelings for this girl, this dude, when I'm almost leaving, I'm almost done and I'm going back to my country, I'm not staying here for a long time and we are just for such a, so far away, you know? She's in Africa, I'm in the Caribbean, it's like, that's pretty far like how are we gonna do a distant relationship i'm gonna follow her she's gonna follow me she's gonna be a western in my country things are not that easy you just don't move like that so many people see those things they prefer just to have fun with local people they may end up with local people they may not they're just like yeah we are different here local girls they like us and we're not gonna stay for a long time so why i'm gonna be stressing with western girls <laughs> in the end of the day we're gonna go back to or countries apart if you find someone from your own country then okay but if it's from a different country and very far away not even neighbor countries that can be confusing so I know a lot of people in China have like uh, friends with benefits type of relationships because they're like oh there's no point to really have like you no know, serious thing going on if we're gonna leave so that's are some of the challenges to dating in China especially for girls because I'm a girl of course <laughs> I try to be as um, inclusive as possible talking about different men and women but of course i'm a woman and that's my experience that what i see friends and people talking about but it's not impossible to be honest i had two serious relationships while i was in china and one lasts for a good time it was a good relationship so yeah it it did finish not actually because of we're from different countries or because uh, he was gonna leave i'm gonna leave we could go you know further but life just didn't plan things that way and it didn't happen but it's not impossible of course i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe comment and all that jazz i will see you next time bye bye